Hello everyone, this is Ryan here, and thank you for joining me again for another Mindplex staff interview. So if you'd like to introduce yourself and say where you're from, that'd be awesome. Yep, uh, I'm Arjun, and I'm from California, USA, and I'm a moderator here on Mindplex. Um, I've been here for about a year and a half, and yeah. And how long would you say you've been playing on the Mindplex server? Um, I've been playing on Mindplex ever since 2014, 2015-ish, back when I was in 7th. And, uh, yeah, I started out on Mindplex by playing SG. That's really the first game I started getting into, and that's where I met most of my friends. Nice. And, uh, since, since you're a mod, you must be on some sub-teams. Do you mind telling us what those are? Yeah. I'm on Reports Patrol, the newsletter, Game Insights, Recruiter assistance and the content creator account console. All right, awesome. So, what what kind of experiences or what do you do on the content creator council? So, the content creator council basically works together as a team to recruit. Um, have the stream tag, the YT tag, and so what we do is we go around and we look we look um, at these applicants and sort of recruit them onto the team, the people who deserve to be on here and the people who just love making content for the servers. So do you, yeah. so do you like go out of your way to find people who might be streaming Mindplex or do you look at all the applications and then go and watch some of their videos and streams and kind of, kind of like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there are lots of people who do stream and create content, but sadly they don't meet the requirements. So what we do is we look through people who do meet the requirements or are pretty close, and we just uh, recruit them from there. So would you say would you say uh, is it is it set in stone, or do you make like some like little little exceptions for people? Yeah, well, there's always going to be exceptions because people may be super close, or they you know they may be on the dot. So we do do our best, but there is no specific way we actually accept people. So yeah, I'll say. Okay, and is there other any other sub teams that you find interesting? Like, what's your like what's your favorite one that you'd say that you'd want to want to stay on if you were going to become a senior moderator? Oh uh, yeah, um, recruiter assistance is something I've been wanting to join. I need to join recruitment for like the longest time. It's my sort of dream team, you could say. So I've been on recruiter assistance for uh, almost six months now, and I'm. It's not necessarily a path. To become recruiter, but it is um, in the pool there, so and that's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah. Yeah, and as a and as a recruiter's assistant, what what kind of role do you have in applications? Like, are you allowed to officially deny and accept people, or do you just influence them and show them some applications that you think might be might be worthy of accepting, and then they'll make the final decision, or how does that work? Yeah. So like. Um, you know, I'm just an assistant, so I don't really take the initiative of like denying people or moving them on or anything. Uh, I just provide my insight to the, the other recruiters and the leads, and, and together we all come to a conclusion as a team whether the person should be um, denied or accepted or whatever and whatnot. But um, I, as like an rec a recruiter assistant, don't really take the initiative to like accept people or such like that. So if you can remember, do you know how many times you applied for staff member? Oh yeah, so um, I actually made a few applications back when I was pretty new to the community and those applications weren't really gen sort of like those applications that you don't really like to see. Yeah. So, but the I really made about two applications, two real applications before I got accepted, yeah. Are there any staff members that you like looked up to back then or might be friends with now? Um, back then, I actually wasn't too involved with, uh, I didn't really communicate with many staff members back then, um, but I do remember a few people that aren't here anymore, they left a long time ago, but nowadays I've met tons of friends and honestly I'm so great grateful for that, um, they're, they're just amazing, people like Fuzzy Jr., um, Heise24, they're just really cool people, and, um, they really, you know, keep me up here they you know they keep me inspired and such so yeah yeah and um do you have any do you have any funny stories about some applications that you might have seen that are just kind of funny or interesting things people have said or done yeah like sometimes people they don't know what they're applying for and sometimes <laughs> they just apply for the wrong reason it's funny to see that sometimes but uh 
luckily if we don't deal with too many of those so that's good yeah so my last my last question for you today is gonna be do you have any tips for people who might want to become a staff member on the mindflex server uh yeah i've got a few tips for people i'll drop my two cents for sure <laughs> <laughs> so um the first thing i'd like to say is just be as honest and genuine as you can because we do see through lies and it's just not good to, you know, not be yourself through the process. It just makes things harder for everyone. Mm -hmm. So that's um, one thing you should really... The second, thing, the second thing is apply, like, when you're ready to apply. You don't want to apply when you're not ready because it just... it It's not the recruitment team and staff management. It's just something that you don't want to get involved with when you're not ready. And um, I'd say the last thing would be to be active because, you know, we love to see active people and uh, especially when you're helping out on the network, that's amazing to see because, you know, that's what you should be doing if you want to become a trainee, you should be helping out. And so, so I guess that's my two cents. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking some time out of your day to do this interview. I really enjoyed it and I hope hopefully everyone else did too. And if you guys did like this video, make sure to show him some love in the comment section or on the forums and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.